Samuel, where are you going? Oh, Mom, um, I was just gonna, you know, check out the town a little bit. <laughs> Honey, please have some breakfast, please. Mom, it's fine. I'm not hungry. Samuel, there is something we need to talk about. You're not eating anything at all. Mom, it's fine. I already told you I'm not hungry. Samuel, if you don't, then I will- Ugh! Stop it, Mom! I am not a little kid anymore! For dog's sake, just stop being on my back! Oh, alright. Mom, I am gonna take a shower. Doggone it. I really am stupid. I think I'm here at the hospital. Ugh, doggone it. It's, it's only 7.30. The hospital doesn't open and visitors are not welcome until 8 o'clock. <gasps> what the? What the tail is she doing here? <sighs> Hopefully she will know I'm here. Hey! What do you want, Lindsay? Uh, what do I want? <laughs> Why the tail are you here? This is all your fault anyways. I know, I know, I'm sorry. So I decided to actually come here to apologize to her. Why the tail should you be sorry when you actually did this to her? I don't know, okay? I just felt really sorry, so I decided to drop by here. For dog's sake, just leave me alone. It's not my fault that I like Kenny. Uh, yes it is. Why the hell do you guys think he's a jerk anyways? Because he just is. That's the whole point. Ugh, you're such an idiot, Lindsay. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I should have said that. Wow. You said something mean to me, and then like five seconds later, you apologize? Why are such an apology, girl? Why the hell are you even here anyways? Uh, to see how she's doing. Duh. No, not that. Why are you actually here? You're like waiting for something. I'm waiting for the business to open because I seem to need Alice and someone else. And who's that someone else, huh? She's in room 105. Okay, thank you. Let's go, Lindsay. Alice? 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 Shh, Samuel. Alice, you're awake. I'm just gonna say I'm really sorry, and even if you, if you don't forgive me, I... I... I forgive you. <gasps> Alice? Is that you? <sighs> they said my sparkles were a little bit too... well, sparkly, and they, 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 they were really with my case. So they decided to take them off, and here I am. Alice, oh my dog, I can't believe it's really you. I just want to say that I'm really, really sorry. And even if you don't forgive me, then well... <sighs> Samuel, I already told you, I'm gonna forgive you. And even though you gave me in the hospital, I still forgive you. For real? For real. Lindsay, please tell us, girl, that I would forgive anyone, even if it was a big mistake. You really are. I... Technically... I'll let you have Kenny. For real? Yeah. I told my mom and dad about what happened, and they said that maybe I should just get over it because Kenny's, even though Kenny's never gonna come back to me, at least he's happy with you. I can't do that. He won't forgive me. Or he, he already knows what I am. Stupid. You're not stupid, Alice. You just made a really big mistake. 
a really big one. Oh, shut up, Linda. But yeah. You guys better go. Taylor is expected to come in soon. Alright. Bye! Oh, and Zenmo? Yeah? Thank you for everything. Coming in here to apologize. I'm not every pet would do that. You're welcome. Zenmo? Oh, coming. Bye. See you at school. Someday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm good to go now. Okay, bye, bye. Oh, and Lindsay? Yeah? Sorry for what I did, and I apologize for your husband, for, for your boyfriend. You're so sweet. Lindsay, I. Hey, you. Oh? Oh my god! Kenny, is that you? Yep. Um, why are you here, if I may ask? To apologize to Alice, because I pretty much risked her life. Because I pretty much was the one who risked her life. No, that wasn't you. It was me. I was the one who... who took her away from you. No, you weren't the one. I was. And I've always wanted to ask this question. But since Alice and I are official now... Hmm. Have you go on a date with me? 